God bless your family. I want to thank you for joining me for another episode of It's a Happy Day. I want to talk to you from a subject that's near and dear to my heart. And I, you know, we have a lot of conversations with different leaders in different spheres. And you know, one of the things that people ask me is, well, what do I do when people walk away? When people walk away from me, what do I do? When I've been hurt as uh, in a relationship or as a leader, I've poured my life um, out, I've given, I've given, and it seems like the more you give, the more people walk away. This was the question that Timothy um, really asked Paul over in the New Testament. You know, Timothy had poured his life into a group of you know close uh, friends and you know acquaintances, and they walked away. They walked away, and you know Paul gives him some suggestions and really some advice. And he basically says this. He says, I know you've been hurt. I know you've been done wrong. I know that it's uncomfortable, but in order for you to complete the assignment on your life, you can't do it alone. Which means now what he says to him is, you've got to be open to vulnerability a second time. But here's the catch. He says this time, commit yourself to faithful people. Don't commit yourself to unfaithful people. Remember this. I want you to hear what I'm saying, that you and I can't expect people to commit to us if they're not committed to themselves. I mean, think about that. A lot of times we expect people to treat us better than they treat themselves. They're not committed to their, their purpose. They're not co committed to their destiny. They don't even communicate with themselves. And we expect for them to communicate with us. And so... What Paul says here is, I know that you've been hurt one time. You've been burned. Let's, let's acknowledge that. But your assignment requires for you to extend your heart once again. And I want to encourage everyone. Um, you've been hurt as you try to pursue relationships, pursue love. You know, what the enemy wants is for you to give up. He wants you to live your life in isolation. He wants you to avoid any type of of contact. He wants you to social distance when there's no pandemic, when there's no virus. He wants you to be socially distanced from people who can bless you. And so like for real, like I know we all have had some things that have happened in the past, but let that stuff stay in the past. You know, we can deal with our hurt through counseling and therapy and friends and sharing and all those kinds of things. Uh, even forgiveness works, right? Like, but you know, the real thing is, is when they walk, when they walk away, you walk forward. When they walk away, you walk forward and you recommit yourself to faithful people. And watch, watch what happens in your life when you're able to continue to move forward, even when people walk away. God bless you. And I'll see you on another day. It's a happy day.